Singapore, the people who knew Gay Alassane describe him as a nice guy who was well liked. Born in Mali, he has called Singapore home for more than 20 years and received his Singapore citizenship in 2003. During his time here, the former Gombak United player carved out a career in football, but his involvement in a global match fixing syndicate proved to be his downfall. On Thursday, December 7, the Ministry of Home Affairs announced that a naturalized citizen, believed to be a last sane, will be stripped of his Singapore citizenship due to his involvement in match fixing. He had been detained without trial in 2013, for a period of about two years, and has since been under police supervision order. One of his best friends in Singapore, former Warriors FC defender Bamamadu, said that the 43-year-old has been stressed out after finding himself in the news earlier today. I know him very well, and for a long time now, as we were born in the same country. He's like a brother to me, said Mamadou, who is now a youth coach at a private footballing academy. Alassane is a nice guy, and everyone who knows him, knows that. Everybody makes mistakes in life. After, Alassane, was released, he regretted his mistakes and has since become a changed person, he added. The man got punished, came out from detention, was living his life and then this news happened today. Speaking to Channel News Asia, Mamadou said that the latest development has been bothering his friend. He's feeling stressed out, and that was when he tried to call me today while I was doing coaching, he said. After work today, I read the news and then I called him back. I told him to just go home and relax. A journeyman playing career. Alassane's career here predates the start of the S League, having played with local Premier League club Shinbaru CSC in 1994 when he was 19 years old. Among the journeymen's other clubs in subsequent years are Wellington FC and Tampines, before he joined Gombak United in 2000 where he was mainly a reserve player. Gombak United chairman John Yap said the club do not condone match-fixing and related activities. We are vigilant and ensure players under our employment do not participate in such activities. As for this player, he was with us way back in around 1999 or 2000. We have no contact with him since and we are not aware of his activities after his contract ended, he said. Yap said Alassane was a cheerful young man who got along well with his teammates. After his S League career, Alassane turned out for National Football League side Tampines 1951 and also played amateur football with Oxley City in the ESPZEN League. He also ran the A Stars Soccer Academy in Singapore before his arrest. Finding employment upon his release from detention, Alassane is understood to have taken up coaching and had even found work at TWGT earlier this year. When he got a job at TWG, everybody was talking about his detention stint for what he did, which then eventually led to his sacking. The management there didn't like it, even though he was working there for about three or four months, said Mamadou, who added that his friend was let go from the company less than a month ago. However, in response to Channel News Asia's queries, TWG said they had no knowledge of the ongoing case.